Hi there, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to video 4.3 where we will explore some of the pros and cons of informal workplace learning. As with all the other videos, we will begin with the analysis questions and conclude with the synthesis questions. In between, we will examine the pros and cons of informal learning, provide a Canadian perspective, and look at blending formal, informal, and social workplace learning. Recall various personal experiences you've had in workplace learning. Which elements would you consider to be informal? Which elements were most effective and valuable to you? If you were designing a workplace learning program, how would you combine the various types of learning to create effective workplace learning? Informal and social learning are widely supported by researchers and many organizations, particularly for the increased opportunities of varied interaction. These types of interactions are learner-centered as opposed to trainer-centered. This allows for a more personalized approach to learning. It's been shown that the use of informal and social resources is cost-effective for organizations and also very efficient. Informal and social learning assessments can be observable and continue to support knowledge retention or reflect long-term behavioral change. This often leads to increased social engagement of learners, which helps them build a team attitude in the workplace. Increased learner engagement often increases with the use of technology and various types of media. Finally, informal and social learning offer learners long-term support for skills development and ongoing knowledge acquisition. According to the Centre for Workplace Skills, Canadians are more likely to learn new skills and acquire more knowledge through informal learning. The Centre for Workplace Skills goes on to say that finding innovative and practical ways to better support workers' informal learning is a key preoccupation for forward-looking organizations of all sizes. But while our theoretical knowledge about informal learning has made great strides over the last number of years, approaches to actively promote, support, and evaluate work-related informal learning are only starting to take root in Canadian workplaces. Our culture values quantifying everything, including learning. Unfortunately, we tend to look at the mark or pass-fail rate to measure learning. This type of assessment is often seen to justify formal workplace learning programs. For this reason, many organizations do not support informal learning because they can't measure it. I really like this quote by Godfredson and Mosher. It's saying that learning is fluid and in the context of workplace learning, we must remember that the business is fluid. Therefore, the business must support learning as both learners' needs and the business's needs evolve. The researchers focus on five needs, learning new, learning more, changing, solving, and applying. These address both the learners and the business's needs. And if you think about it, if you remove any one of these needs, the learning cannot move forward. The problem then is to figure out how to meet these five needs of learning in the workplace. With constraints of budgets, time, and resources, some organizations are turning to blended learning to solve this problem. Blending formal, informal, and social learning can often work within the budget, time, and resource constraints. There are two synthesis questions I'd like you to answer in our upcoming tutorial. Why does the inclusion of informal and social strategies result in workplace learning that is more effective at meeting all five moments of learning than informal workplace learning? And how would informal and social workplace learning alleviate the issues of growing discontent of formal workplace learning? It's clear that informal and social learning are here to stay and many organizations have yet to fully realize that knowledge and skills need not be gained only through the metrics of formal learning. Skills we learn through informal and social means are often personally rewarding and provide us with the opportunities to learn and grow beyond the confines of workplace learning. See you in the tutorial!